All right, we're here in St. Petersburg at the beautiful Courtside Grill, which is owned by former NBA player Matt Geiger. Tonight, it's all about a new charity making a difference in people's lives. So let me introduce you to Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay. Local Tampa Bay personality, Julie Weintraub from the Golden Diamond Source has just launched her nonprofit Hands Across the Bay charity. Her mission and efforts are dedicated to improve the quality of life in the Tampa Bay area for individuals, programs, and organizations that need help. Let me tell you, Julie and her husband Steve are always giving back to the Tampa Bay community. We really enjoy doing it and we've been doing a lot of it over the last couple years. So people kept saying we should do an organization to support what we do and we finally have just done that. And it's called Hands Across the Bay because we work in T Hillsborough County, Pinellas County, doing, supporting various different charities. And this way, I have more accountability. I can see where my work is going, where the money's going. And I work with all kinds of different foundations and organizations, uh, from cancer you know, uh, to causes, to kids' causes, to something like Audrey's. And uh, I'm a wonderful husband who never says no, no matter how much stuff I give away. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that, but uh, she's hard to keep up with, I'll tell you. Uh, when Julie throws a party, charity event, you can count on the rain coming, but they still show up, and they come in droves because uh, what she does is great stuff. It really is, and, uh, you know, I'm very proud of her. Tonight's celebrity bartending fundraiser is Julie's first event, and it's all about supporting 26-year-old Audrey Mabry, who is a victim in a horrific domestic violence crime when her estranged husband struck her in the head with a hammer doused her in kerosene and set her on fire. With burns to over 80% of her body, that ugly day in November has obviously changed Audrey's life forever. Julie and Steve Weintraut both feel compelled to take up Audrey's cause. She had no car, no place to live, no money, and I thought, as a mother, having to deal with the severe burns she has, explaining that to your children and having that is just wrong. So we thought we'll put an event together. We donated our minivan that we've been thinking about donating anyway to her. We got a big red bull on it. We're giving her tonight. And we're gonna raise some money. We have a PayPal account. So if people didn't make it out, they can go to handsacrossabay.org and they can make a donation for her. So we're trying to just get her not to have to worry about the basic necessities in life and focus on her recovery. Audrey coming out and, and, and being here tonight with all of us is such an inspiration and what a brave woman and uh, we're just so happy that we could be here and help her in some way. Julie's good friend, Fox reality TV star Mary Murphy, who recently disclosed she herself was a victim of domestic violence at the hands of her ex-husband for nine years, made the trip from LA to support the benefit to help Audrey. You know, Julie's a good friend of mine. She asked me if I would go to this link and watch the, you know, read about her story. And as soon as I finished, I called her up and I said, I'll, I'll try to do whatever I can to make it there. I'm not making any promises yet. I called her a few days ago as soon as I got in and I said, I'm coming, can you pick me up? I think all women that have been in that position are, you know, we fear what happened to Audrey, you know, and, uh, and I've had nightmares ever since I've heard her story and thinking and reflecting on my own experience. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I could have the same courage. She's an amazing young woman. She's got a really bright, positive attitude. She is really going to come out of this, I think, and be, you know, be a really fantastic mother. And she's just so strong. Former NBA player Matt Geiger was proud to host this touching and emotional event at his beautiful courtside grill restaurant. It, you know, it's kind of like an emotional night because at the same time, we're having fun. And it's a bar and it's an atmosphere. But I've had three or four women come up to me tonight and almost start opening up because they came out tonight telling their friends, man, I've been through something. And uh, so I feel like there's people who have almost had, like the healing has started from a night like tonight. I hope this sparks a lot for a lot of people that might never have come out before because it's getting publicity. I love everything Julie's doing and whatever my son can do and I can do, and my husband, we love it. I mean, we're all about charity affairs. We had a chance to interview many of Tampa Bay's local personalities who came out to support the event and Audrey. Men that hurt women, I don't think have, would have the, I can't say the word, but the guts to hit a man or hurt a man. So, um, and the fact that she has children that she can't hug. What else? 
when Julie asked me what else could I do, really. Every cause is a good cause you want to be a part of. And, and for somebody that goes through domestic violence, that's really important that you don't do anything even remotely close to that. It doesn't have to come to that. It's senseless, and uh, and so I'm here just to support her because of that. Once again, it, I don't think any of us could even imagine uh, what she's going through. And I had her on my radio show the other day, and she has a lot of strength. And uh, it's, if you don't, if this cause you don't feel it, then you don't have anything inside. Because I couldn't imagine anybody in my family going through it. Uh, you can see she's going through a tough time. So we're just here to try to, you know raise some money for good cause. You know, when Julie Weintraub asks you to do something, can you help out? Boy, it's awfully hard to say no. Through hurricane, rain, weather, doesn't matter, we'll, we'll show up regardless. That's right. I even came across a bridge called the Howard Franklin. I drove from one end to the other to get down here for Julie. Yeah, I know. That's the way I do it. She's She's got this exuberant, loving, kind nature that everybody pulls into, as well as, you know, she's very smart. She networks to help everybody. Now the emotional part of this evening for me came when I had a chance to interview Audrey herself. This amazing woman and the mother of two little kids was really touched by the outpour of love. For obvious reasons, my interview with her was off camera. It means the world to me. You know what it says to me? That there's still good people in this country that care about others and that we should all rally around each other to take care of one another when, when someone is in need. I've always had the same spirit and I believe that fighting to um, stay strong and to make it through is very important. I've always been a strong woman and I would never give up regardless of what it was that happened to me. Audrey's stepmom and sister who also attended the event gave me a deeper insight to how special and courageous Audrey is. Words cannot explain it. It's a wonderful thing that everybody has shown their support for her and her family. She wants to live. She wants to have a life. She wants a family. And most, most importantly, she wants to be happy. And she's got two beautiful boys that um, she has. She's just a very strong person. Wow, what an emotional and incredible evening tonight was. As you can see, Hands Across the Bay has the support of so many to help make a difference in people's lives. For more information on how you can help Audrey, please go to www.supportaudrey.com. That's www.supportaudrey.com. And for more information on Julie's charity, please go to www.handsacrossthebay.org. That's www.handsacrossthebay.org.